word countdown is everywhere. I, I don't know about you, but one of my favourite words, and I, I haven't a clue how to spell it when I think about it, is onomatopoeia. It's a wonderful word, isn't it? Onomatopoeia. Well, what reminded me of that, because just looking across the studio, I see it's... that uh, Carol's got a mat over there. <laughs> In fact, you've got, you've got I... a couple of mats. Yeah. What's on the those? matter here. Yes. On the matter here. On the matter here. Well, actually, there's a lovely lady in the audience who's come from Trindon Colliery, um, which is Tony Blair's constituency, and uh, she, her name's Hilda, and she's made two mats for us. Now, what she's done is she's taken lots of old clothes and she's she's cut them all up and made this mat. This is called a hooky, because each one's kind of hooked over and in again. So that's a hooky. And this one's called a clippy, which is much looser, and this has got the countdown clock on it. Carol, Richard, Channel 4, nine letter words. That's fantastic. Good, Hilda, is she, is she in the audience with yes, us? Yes, she is. Hilda's there. Hello, Hilda. Hello, Hilda. Hello, oh, Hilda. fantastic, Hilda. Hilda. Thank you. Fantastic. So, these are good shower mats, so which one do you want? Uh, well, I need both, one for each leg. <laughs> <laughs> We'll fight about it later. OK, well, that's lovely. And actually, those clippy rugs, I've got one in front of the, uh, the fire. The, the farmhouse ladies in the Dales make those rugs. Clip, I do, they're, clippy they're rugs. lovely. They're really wonderful. Really they're terrific. nice, yeah. yeah. OK, well, thanks very much indeed. That's really, we, we get very few prizes, so that's super. Anyway, uh, the guy who's walking off with all the prizes at the moment is our champion, doing very well, so we welcome him back, and indeed uh, our challenger. So welcome champion Gary Woodward and challenger John Laws. Well, he's keeping up uh, his uh, excellent performances, uh, Gary. Every game he's won so far has been in the 60s. He uh, had a good score yesterday of 65 against Jonathan Burns. A very good game. So, welcome back, Gary, for Thank the you. one, two, three, four, fifth, sixth time. Five times a winner. So, there he is, 18 years of age. Now, John Laws, welcome you, John. Uh, John is married, lives in Bristol, and is now retired, having spent 41 years working in the aircraft industry. Did you work at Filton, was it? Yep. Yeah. Did you make the Concorde? I didn't make it, but I was there when it was being made. Yeah, well, you didn't make it yourself personally, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> well, it's a great, a wonderful uh, history there of uh, Filton, that great factory there. Yeah. Uh, he enjoys a wide variety of hobbies, including bowls and fishing, and he's secretary of the Bristol Recorded Music Society. He also says his favourite place is the Lake District. So if he wants big prizes in the goodie bag, he'll have to win <laughs> after blowing the champion's kendals out. So anyway, uh, good luck to uh, John Laws. Now, on his return to Dick's Recorder yesterday, our G and the D beat our contestants with the eight-letter word, misteach. Misteach. So, making error return again. It's our principal pairing of Geoffrey Durham University with Oxford's finest, Susie Student. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. It was a bit tortuous. It was a bit tortuous. Just a bit tortuous. I'm, I'm drained by the emotion of the shower mat. <laughs> <laughs> Astonishing. Okay. Well, well Jeffrey, I want to see things up your sleeve for us today. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's a puzzle today. Actually, it's not a trick. Trick okay. tomorrow. Puzzle today. Good luck. Okay. Well, Gary and uh, John, let the real game commence. And Gary, it's your turn. Okay. A consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Gary. N. And then a vowel. E. And the consonant. Y. And another consonant. S. A vowel. O. A consonant. Z. Another consonant. Another one. P. And another consonant. M. And a final vowel, please. And that, Gary and John, is I. OK, thanking you. Here we go, round number one. Gary? Six. Six says Gary. John? Six. Six says John, which is? Impose. Yes, impose. Gary? Ponies. Ponies. Ponies and impose. We are off the mark with a six, yes? Gary, could you spell how you 
Spelling ponies. P O N I E S. Fine, thanks. She's very hot, isn't she? Yes. yes. Hot to trot. Like, yeah. a po like a pony, she's hot to trot. <laughs> very good. <laughs> There's a smashing seven. Ah. Isn't there? Yes, there is. All um, together now. Eponyms. Eponyms. You know, eponymous heroes are heroes with their name in the title. Well, eponyms. Oh, like Batman. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, six it is for here. So, John, your turn. A consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, John. R. And another. S. And a third. And N. And a vowel. E. And a second vowel. A. And a third. And E. And a consonant. F. And another consonant. N. And another consonant. And G. OK, here we go. Time to say to John how many? Dodgy seven. Dodgy seven, right, Gary? And seven. And seven. Dodgy seven, please. Fanners. People Fanners. Who fan. Yeah. <laughs> People who fan. <laughs> Punk yes, mother. Gary. Ensnare. Pun? Ensnare. Ensnare. And snare is absolutely fine, obviously, and you'll be pleased to hear that Fanna is also in the dictionary. Wow. Well. <laughs> well done. Well, I don't think I don't quite believe that, but anyway, yes. Uh, there's also Enrages for seven. Yeah. But uh, Ensnare is smashing, Excellent, isn't it? yeah. yeah. Very good. A fanner. And then there's Cecil B. DeMille films. You've got a lot of people fanning yes. Cleopatra and things, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. OK, well, fanners is very good. So 13 and 13. Now, Gary, what have you got for us, please? Start with a vowel, please, Carol. I start, then with O. And a consonant. F. And a second. D. And a third. T. And try vowel. U. And another. I. And back to consonants, please. L. And another. W. Um, and a vowel to finish. And a vowel. Thank you, Gary. And that's E. OK, here we go, round number three. Six. Six. John? Seven. Six, please. Dilute. Dilute. Dilute for six, seven. Flouted. Hmm. Spell that. F-L-O-U-T-E-D. Excellent. Very good. We didn't get either of those. Good. Because we were so busy getting an eight. Ah. Which, yeah, <laughs> it's true, actually. It's, it's, it's a wonderful eight. Outfield. Outfield. Yeah. Outfield. Yeah, smashing that. It's a smashing one. Out, no. Outfield. Is there we'll have to get the runs there hit <laughs> to the outfield, isn't it? Well, then, chaps, look at the score 13 and 20. So you've snuck ahead there, John, and it's your numbers, please. One and five of Carol's choice, please. Thank you very much, John. One, two, three, four, and five. Right, we have two and four, followed by eight and three, nine and 75. The target for you both is 327. Well, 327, 
Mm. Yes, well, 327, John. 327. Good man, Gary. And 327. Okay, Gary is 327. Okay, 75 plus 8 is 83. Uh, 75 plus 8 is 83. Times 4 is yep. 332. It is indeed. And then take away the 3 and the 2. Yep, take away the 3, take away the 2. 327. Nicely done. John? 4 times 75. 475 is 300. 300. 9 times 3 is 27. Oh, yeah. And that's add. Right. Add them up. 327. Thank you. Very good. Ten points. So that's the score at uh, half time. 23 and 30. And it's over to you, Geoffrey. Little puzzle today. I've been sent this puzzle by a former countdown contestant. I love being sent puzzles. Love getting your letters. This countdown contestant was called Ross McKenzie. He sent me one or two puzzles. This is one of them. You have to find the odd man out. August. Harvest. June. March and May. Now, before we go any further, I should point out that I haven't gone potty. There's a catch to this. The answer may not be the obvious one. So have a look at it. Yesterday's puzzle was easy. This is actually quite a lot tougher. August, harvest, June, March and May. Now, why is that not the obvious? Well, you'll find out after the break. See if you can have a go in the next two minutes. Well, we shall look at it, uh, give it our fullest attention during the break. We hope you will do so too, and we'll return with the answer in part two. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome back. We've been puzzling over Geoffrey's poser. Just hold it up, Geoffrey. There it is. OK, which is the odd man out? Well, after a great deal of thought, all of us in the studio, we think it's harvest, because all the rest are months. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not the answer. Ah. If that were the answer, August, June, March and May would have capital letters. Wouldn't they? Yes. They would. But they haven't. Therefore, that can't be the answer. What is the answer? What the answer is, is that because they don't have capital letters, these are in fact August, Harvest, March and May, which are all words, June isn't a word at all if it hasn't got a capital letter. Yeah. It's Ross McKenzie's puzzle. I think it's very ingenious. I've never seen one like it. It's very good. Thank you very much indeed, Ross. Well done, Ross. OK, well, that's one puzzle. Now, the puzzle is who's going to be the winner of this. It's quite interesting, actually. The champ there, under a bit of pressure, 23 by John Laws, our challenger, on 30. So we hand straight over to you, John, to take us into round five. Uh, start with a consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, John. D. Thank you. And a second. R. And a third. And L. And a fourth. And that's P. And a vowel. E. And another vowel. I. And another vowel. A. And a consonant. K. And another vowel. And E. <laughs> Thank you. Let's start the clock on this. Just five. Just five. Now a chance for you, Gary. Here. Six. Yes, I thought so. So the five, John, is... Pride. Pride, yes. And the six? Leaked. Leaked. Four. Six is leaked. So, good points for him. Now then, Geoffrey. Pen cam and earnest discussion here. Yes. Yes. I thought this was pre-dial. You know, like, mm -hmm. like dial it first. But it isn't. It's pre-deal, isn't it? That's right, yes. Yeah. And you can spell it as you can see with the E in the middle and it's an adjective P-R-A-E-D-I-A-L meaning of land or farms rural. 
Well, I think that's a lovely word, don't you? Yeah. Predial is nice. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Um, well, back in the game very much. 29 and 30. Gary, letters, please. Start with a vowel, please, Carol. Thank you, Gary. O. And a consonant. T. And another consonant. S. And a third. D. A vowel. A. And another vowel. And I. And a consonant. R. Another consonant. H. And a consonant to finish, please. Thank you, Gary. And S. And we start the countdown. Yes, Gary. Six. Six. John. And six. John, six. Radish. Radish. Gary. Shorts. Shorts. Shorts and radish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hairdos is there. Oh. <laughs> Hairdos is there for seven. And asteroid. Is yes. that right? Asteroid as opposed to asteroid. It's yes. without the E. So A S T R O I D, which is a mathematical term. Put an S on the end. Yeah. You get asteroids. Asteroids. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's eight, is it? Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. Fantastic. Good. Yeah. Well, well, well. Just the one point here, though, folks. 35, 36, three rounds to go. One of each. Letters for John. Consonant, please, Carol. Y. And a second. T. And a third. And <laughs> V, Yorkshire <laughs> Television. Bless. Applause, yes. A vowel, please. <laughs> we love it. E. And another vowel. A. And another vowel. A. And another consonant. C. And another consonant. T. And another vowel. And O. Thank you. Here we go. Rounds. Yes, now, John. Six. Six. Gary. Six again. Gary, six. Vacate. Vacate. John, six. The favourite bird, Avocet. Oh, Avocet. <laughs> flies in here occasionally, doesn't it? It does. Yes, Avocet and a Vacate for six. We've got nice ones there. Six yep. was our best, too. There's also Octave and there's Caveat, which is uh, one I like. Yes, beware. But, uh, yeah, yes. But that's, but, uh, that's the best I think we could do. So, 41, 42, Gary, numbers, please. Okay, can I have one, two, three this time, please, Carol? Yeah. Thank you. One, two, and then three. And you have three, one, nine, and ten, eight, and twenty-five. Mm-hmm. That's bad. Uh, seven, seven, three. Good. Go for it, chaps. Seven, seven, three. Go for it. Seven seven three, Gary. Got seven seven four. One away, John. No, seven seven nine. Okay, seven seven four. I had the chance. Okay, three times ten is thirty. Three times of thirty. Plus one. Okay. Yeah. That's thirty-one, 31. and then times by twenty-five. It's seven seven five. Nine minus eight is the one. 
Nine minus eight is a one. To take away. And take that away, seven, seven, four. Yes, well, seven points. Could he have got seven, seven, three? Yeah. Uh, Ten times 25 is uh, 250 plus the eight, two, five, eight. Then you multiply by three. That's, uh, what is that? Seven, seven, four. And then you take away the one. Seven, seven, three. Good. Well, you are in the lead now, Gary, but uh, not out of harm's way. 48 and 42, so you see that, gentlemen, is a crucial conundrum. So everyone is now as relaxed as he can be. Deep breath. Please now reveal today's crucial countdown conundrum. Time ticks away for poor old John and relief for Gary. This is what it is. Oh, oh yes, anecdotal. <laughs> yes, well, never mind, never mind. Gary lives to fight another day. A lower score for him, actually, 48, but still a very good win in a tough game. So, champion for the sixth time, Gary Woodward. So, well, that was a good game, John, but uh, he's, a, he's a winner here. Yes, what indeed. are you writing down now? Is that you? What are you writing down? Today's date. Oh, today's date. <laughs> <laughs> That's always useful to know what day it is. <laughs> OK, well, thank John, you're a good chap, and uh, we wish you all the very best thank in the future. Much. And a goodie bag for you to take back to Bristol. John Laws, everybody. <laughs> right, well, from South Sea, uh, tomorrow we welcome Edward Mundell. Uh, did you get that, uh, Edward? No, I didn't get that at all. You'd be looking forward to taking on this young man tomorrow? Look forward to it. <laughs> Good, OK, well, that's Edward. So, meanwhile, we say farewell to Dictionary Corner. Bye -bye. Goodbye to you. Bye-bye. And, uh, oh, Carol. What? You know that yesterday, I actually, I was quite amused by it, but, uh, you know, by when you, you did this Oh, your me. photograph of you. Yeah, <laughs> well, actually, I'm happy to say that my fan club really rallied round, and they had a meeting in a phone box in Heckman Dwight. <laughs> and uh, they've just, uh, whatever the word is, downloaded something. Which not you from might, the internet. Which you might like. I but hope it's uh, not real. I have to say to the viewer that uh, the viewer, those of nervous disposition should look away now. Okay, you're looking away. Don't yeah. blame me for this then. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a border alien, not a border, a border man, alien. Right? <laughs> so, what a couple. Your favourite couple on TV. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> No wonder it's a winning show, this. <laughs> I love that. OK, well, thanks, everybody. A bit of fun. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>